Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. And Joe's got a great little story for you. <laughs> I do. I have a story about, um, <clears throat> it's real cute. Um, it's, it's about Charlie. <laughs> it's about Charlie, Charlie Hodge. Um, we were we were getting ready to go to the movie one night, and I I just had a feeling. Of, I didn't want to leave Danny and Joey by themselves at the trailer because um, I don't know. I just I just felt funny about it, and um, I didn't have a babysitter. Well, with them, you had to. You had to be on yeah, way or that or handcuffed. <laughs> yeah, or handcuffed, duct tape them to the <laughs> wall or something. But. Um, I said, well, and, and Pauline would usually, uh, or Lottie would watch for me, you know, watch them for me, or Billy's mother, but for some reason, all of them were not available that night. So I said, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to go tonight because I don't have a babysitter. And Elvis said, well, that's no problem. And so we all loaded up in the car and the... Uh, and we got out, we went out, he said, we'll take the back gate. So we got to the back gate and when we got there, he stopped and he said, Charlie, you go in and babysit Danny and Joey for tonight, if you don't mind. And Charlie said, no, nah, I don't mind. I... So he went in and stayed. We went on to the movie and I don't did whatever we did, crazy stuff at the movie, but we got, uh, I guess it was about, what, we watched about three movies that I night? I think so, yeah. We got back about daylight, and um, he, <laughs> when we opened the door, we, this is when we lived in the trailer out, out and back, we opened the door, and uh, this god-awful smell <laughs> hit us in the face, and Charlie was in there stirring at the stove, <laughs> stirring the pots, and he said, y'all come on in. He said, I've cooked you up enough. <laughs> I've cooked you up enough of the soup to last you for a whole week. And Billy said, really? With the way it smelled, it was like, uh. he said, yeah, this is just to show you, you can, no matter what you've got, you can make something out of having nothing. He had this big, huge pot on the stove, and he had put everything that he could find in that pot yeah, yeah. and made soup. And we do, we want to thank you so much. We you know we really really appreciate it. So he he had been drinking a little bit. <laughs> Probably little put bit. some of that in there too. But he he fixed all that up and and he left. So Billy said, "Okay, open the back door." <laughs> so we lugged it out out by past the fence outside the fence and dumped it. It was horrible. We almost we like never got that smell out of there. But um. And, he was a he was a and car. Dan, dog wouldn't even take it. Dan, Danny and Joey said they heard every comedy sketch that he ever yeah. did. You know, they said, neighbors and yeah, I don't know. Please don't leave. Please don't leave Charlie with us anymore. He said he he did every every skit from Gunsmoke and Festus and Miss Kitty and Jim Neighbors and he said and then he made us go to bed. <laughs> He said, "Young young kids needed to be in bed, and he uh, he was gonna sit up and, and Charlie was fine if he had his cigarettes and a drink. Yeah. That he was fine. He was, he was but fine. um, boy, he was the character. And Charlie was all about saving money. Yeah. If uh, you ever ran into him, I bet you there's not one fan at the gate that didn't hear about Costa Rica and how cheap <laughs> and how cheap you could live in Costa really? Rica. Costa Rica. You yeah. could have a little little shack on the beach. Uh." Didn't take hardly anything to live. Everything was cheap in Costa Rica. You could live there. Uh, the climate was great. You didn't have to have a lot of clothes, which is another little story. Charlie would tell me and say, you know, I don't understand why women just, you know, uh, uh, women though, they just like all kind of different, you know, colors and fancy stuff. He said, men, he said, when I buy clothes, I buy them like maybe <laughs> twice a year. He said, I buy six pair of pants six shirts, six pair of socks, and underwear. And he said, I make the shirts, I fix them where they will mix with every pair of pants I have so it looks like different outfits. And that's what he did. He, he actually did that, he had that. Uh, yeah. But he, he was a character. He, uh, <laughs> he could entertain you for, I mean, with nothing. He just, you know, he come up with some, some 
great ideas of his. Yep. So like yeah. I said, everybody at the gate, that he, he loved to go down to the gate and talk to the fans. And um, I'm sure everybody down there has heard of Costa Rica and... I remember in Sedona. Yeah. Uh, he went to this uh, called the King's Ransom. <laughs> and uh, they found out who he was and they wanted him to sing. So he did and the next night they wanted him to come back and of course we all went. He had a great voice. Oh, and watch great him. voice. He did a really good job. He really did. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, you know, uh, he couldn't, you know, he couldn't do it every night because Elvis was, you know, he was loud. <laughs> Elvis, well, I could just see Elvis, you did what? <laughs> who, who you working for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Charlie was, you know, he was, he was quite a person. He really was. That's about all I can say about him. Just a really super nice <laughs> guy. And you have anything else to add? No, but I did want to say, somebody asked us a question about how we learn to farm. And um, we, well, Billy, they, me both are the from the country, it had, had never heard our... <laughs> never been hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But uh, Billy's daddy farmed and and uh, my daddy farmed we we were from the country we lived out in the country i don't think there's anything that like i know my daddy had like what two acres of a garden oh just yeah he he believed in a huge big, garden. huge garden and, and usually fed half the railroad that's where he worked yeah you know? and all of our neighbors and <laughs> yeah just you know but um and that's i i kind of picked it up from both sides yeah you know? yeah and uh I like it. I still like to do it. You know, it's, just, it's like it's like I just to watch it. You know, grow. You put something in the ground. You know, and just watch it grow and and what you need to do to to you know make it produce. It's just you know I just enjoy it. And uh, I know uh, too. Like uh, I never did understand how in the world Billy um, never. Well, I guess he did when he was little, but he never was around anybody that actually fixed things that uh, well when he was little but Elvis always had things fixed mm -hmm. you know he didn't he didn't do them himself and and Billy you wouldn't know it but he can fix anything he can fix anything and build anything so um with that being said I got some, that's a I biggest got some lie little, you have <laughs> <laughs> I got some chores for you to do oh no <laughs> hey by the way, it's getting close to Thanksgiving, and uh, I want all you fans out there that want to know how to make my uh, popcorn, Italian popcorn turkey, to let me know. <laughs> I'm thinking seriously about doing, doing another one. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but with that, folks, I guess we better, better go because I didn't got on the crazy spell. <laughs> home for the silly. That's what oh, I was on. Yeah. We're, we're in the home for the but silly. Just remember to us, Elvis fans, matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.